Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. A lesson for labor, why the people of Fowler rejected Kaneely, May 24, 2022, 5.00 M save login, register or subscribe to save articles for later. Share normal text size larger text size very large text size 104 view all comments federal election 2022 full election results ALP 75 LNP 57 in 10 GR in 3 OTH 276 seats needed for a majority for still to call 75.41% counted updated May 26, 2022, 3.00 M in 1984, when the seat of Fowler was created. Refugee Vietnamese families were still settling into Sydney carrying their war trauma. Many families, including my own, had been in the Villawood Immigration Hostel, which is adjacent to the suburbs of Fowler. Upon leaving Villawood, they found homes in suburbs like Cabramatta. The Vietnamese Community in Australia Organisation, VCA, was born of these refugees' experiences and became the official and organised voice of the Vietnamese community. Christina Kaneely and Fowler on election day. The Labour candidates bid to win the previously safe seat ended in failure. Credit, Dean Sewell the constituents of the VCA, and the identity of the VCA itself, is defined by the wounds of the war. But over time, the Vietnamese diaspora in Fowler has changed. It now includes family reunion migrants, skilled migrants, business migrants and international students that have no direct memory or connection to the war. Some are even children of communist carters who were wartime enemies of VCA war veterans. And even those of us who do have these connections, who grew up in poverty, traumatized by the intergenerational pain of war, don't always agree with the VCA. Though it is important, it no longer represents all Vietnamese in Fowler. The Labour Party and Christina Kaneely publicly announced they had the backing of the Vietnamese community as they stood alongside a VCA NSW executive member, but that support did not tell them anything about the attitude of all VCA members, or Vietnamese war refugees outside the VCA, towards Kaneely's candidacy nor that of the broader Vietnamese community. The new independent MP for Fowler, Dyla Credit, Peter Ray their mistake reminds me of the tokenized diversity approach I see in the corporate world. If you've consulted the Muslim, the Aboriginal person, the gay, the Asian, you've done your homework. Another era, prolific in corporate Australia, is their biased view of leadership qualities. In endorsing Kaneely over local lawyer Tula, Paul Keating said she had executive talent. This notion evokes a certain archetype of Anglo-centric leadership a type of leadership that keeps racial diversity at the bottom and white people at the top. And in any case, in our community, leaders can behave differently, without the need for this expression of talent. During the pandemic, the inequitable treatment of southwestern Sydney communities, including those in Fowler, was clear. People gathered on Bondi Beach without punishment while in Fowler there were helicopters and loudspeakers, reminiscent of the war. My mother's friends, frontline workers, elderly themselves, had to wear nappies to urinate as they waited for hours to get tested every few days to go to work. My parents, eternally grateful to Australia, were for the first time in 42 years outraged by the indignity and the inequality. On Vietnamese community TV, the white woman from Scotland Island was also called a boat refugee, she left an island and found refuge in Liverpool. My friend said it was reminiscent of Labour's Reba Ma being parachuted in from a beachside suburb after the shooting of MP John Newman. According to the Labour Party at the time, we had to be rescued by a white saviour woman who knew better. And now, we were being rescued again. I remember the heroin crisis of the 90s in Cabramatta, when my friends were shot and fell victim to a lack of economic opportunity and lingering trauma. Over the years, it was Dyla who campaigned for the community, from safe public toilets to decent car parks to, as a journalist, telling the stories that reflected us. Understanding the Australian Vietnamese community also means understanding its complex and sensitive relationship to communist Vietnam.
concurrently embracing the need for deeper engagement with Vietnam as we navigate extremely challenging geopolitical trade and security tensions with China. Representing Fowler is not only about representing Australian Vietnamese. Getting it right with this group is a good measure of whether an MP has the skills to be able to connect with this broader electorate, an electorate of survivors. It takes someone with lived experience, wisdom and empathy to necessarily honor the refugee past of the Vietnamese community and the deep heartache we still carry, while also navigating its evolving future within Australia and our region. The residents of Fowler may simply be voters to some. For Dyla, Tula, and